what is an independent adjusting firm roster, how you get on one, and how you get to the top of one, starting now. This is Adjuster TV, adjusters first. This video is sponsored by Haig Education. Use code ADJUSTERTV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HaigEducation.com. So what is a an IA firm roster? Well, it all it really is, and then the most absolute, absolute most basic um, definition is that it's just a list of people that the IA firm has onboarded, right, on, onto that list, right? Those people may or may not be available to work. Um, you could be on the roster and be unavailable, uh, but those are people that are have gone through the compliance stuff to get onto the roster and they have uh, uh, sort of indicated wh whether or not they're gonna be available to do work, what kind of work they wanna do, uh, or if they're unavailable, maybe they had you know some sort of a family thing or they had a, Whatever, then they just can't. They they can't go. They can't. If 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 the company calls, they can't go because of their their hands are tied for whatever whatever reason it is. Right. A diligent adjuster will always call in and say, Hey, listen, um, I'm actually going to be unavailable through September because of A, B, and C. I'm really really sorry. I really want to be, but I can't be. Please mark me as unavailable. Okay, great. Just call us back when you're ready to go back to work. Right. And then you call back when you're ready to go back to work. Right. So all a roster is is just that list of people that the IA firm. Um, can call on to send claims to or claims assignments to or to make them travel or whatever, whatever the, the role is, right? There is that main overall list, right? So if you say, well, I, I just got on Pilot's roster, I just got on Alacrity's roster, I just got on Crawford's roster. Um, you got on the overall list, but until you have um, done some things, which is a second ago I was talking about sort of compliance things, um, you're not gonna be on the, you could call it the ready roster. They can call you right now and say, go to Minneapolis and work some claims. And you would say, okay, I'm going. And then you go and you're, you're, you don't have to do any other training. You don't have to fill in any other paperwork or whatever. When you first apply to an IA firm, they will say, you fill out an application with your job history and so on and so forth, your contact info. And then they will start to, they'll start to kind of funnel you into their system, right? So any, any things that you need to do to get onto the ready roster, they're going to hopefully, it's with the big firms, they'll do this. With the smaller firms, it may be, um, but actually, it's, you know, with the smaller firms, they may also be like, uh, have a more personal touch with you and be calling you and like trying to like hand walk you through the process. Either way, you have to be licensed, right? You can get on the wrong, you can get, onboarded like on a roster without a license but you can't get on the ready roster right the ready roster versus like the bench or the reserve roster you can you've, you may have heard it called right which is basically people who are sitting over here who are not quite ready to work yet right they may or may not be available but they don't have a license or the right licenses they may not have carrier certifications that they need like all state state farm etc um they may you know, be lacking some training or experience. Um, and it may be that they have all those things except for the experience part and they, they're still somehow on the, the reserve roster or the bench and they only get called if, you know, the gigantic hurricane hits and everybody's called, right? Then, then they're gonna be calling you as well as everybody else. You wanna kinda of get off of the reserve roster. Uh, no matter what time of year it is, you wanna do everything that you can to get onto the ready roster. Once you get onto the, re the ready roster, then you're ready to go work. And if you're brand new, it's still gonna be a little bit before they can get down to you. Um, they still need to keep all the, the more experienced adjusters going. And then when they get down to a place where they don't have any more experienced adjusters, then they're gonna start sending new people out, right? You wanna get onto that, that ready roster as quickly as you can by doing everything that they tell you to do, getting all the training that you absolutely can. And then you wanna to get to the top of the ready roster ultimately, right? And it may take a couple of years to do it, uh, three, four, two to four years-ish, maybe it just depends on how available you are, um, how willing you are to go out and work, um, how good of a job that you do, how friendly you are, um, how productive you are, how fast you are, right? How, how adaptable you are and how trainable and directable you are. So all those things fall into place and you're doing a great job for the carrier, then you're gonna be, they're gonna start to prefer you and that's what, that's what we call the first call list. And that is kind of the pinnacle of the IA firm roster.
And of course, you can learn all about becoming a first call adjuster over to adjustertvplus.com where we have a gazillion videos on a lot more like high level training stuff to help you understand how to kind of skyrocket to the top of that ready roster, AKA the first call list. If you wanna watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.